Hey friends, this video is for our second through fourth grade team for March 20th, which is week three. All month long, we are learning the life app of cooperation, working together to do more than you can do alone. And our memory verse for this month, hi. Two people are better than one. They can help each other in everything they do. Ecclesiastes 4.9. So jumping into week three, we head to a story found in Luke chapter five. And here we discover a paralyzed man who just happened to have some excellent friends. When they heard that Jesus was in town, they tried everything to get their friend to Jesus. When they arrived, the place was packed. So instead of giving up, the friends went to the roof and tore a hole big enough to drop their friend down right in front of Jesus. Jesus did something unbelievable because of their faith and cooperation. So our bottom line, work together to help someone in need. When we see others with needs that seem huge and overwhelming, we often think that they're too big for us to help and end up doing nothing. However, if we cooperate with others to meet those needs, we have a better chance of making a difference in their life and pointing them to God. So that's what this week is all about. So our first activity is the blind draw challenge. So as kids start to roll in at 840, what you're going to do is you're going to pair kids up and have them sit back to back. I'll have a ton of clipboards and just blank paper in your rooms. One kid will be the guesser and the, you're going to give the guesser a piece of paper and a clipboard and a marker. And the second kid is going to pick a card from the mystery words, which look like this, these little strips. And so what they're going to do is the kid is going to read their card, but not share what it is. And they're going to, that kid will describe the item on their card to the guesser without naming it. And the guesser is going to try to draw the object based on the verbal description. So like if I had the word, the card house, I'm not going to tell my partner that my word is house. I'm going to say, okay, draw a square, then draw a triangle on top of the square. And then at the bottom of the square, draw a rectangle going up and down. I'm going to try to get them to draw a house. So that's our little pre-service interactivity from those times. Then when service starts at 9 and 11, you're going to do the human dominoes matchup for your intro activity. So what you're going to do is you're going to give each kid a human domino. Shh, hey, hey, shh, I'm making my video. Can you go out there for a second and sing? Thank you. Okay. You're going to give each kid a human domino activity page, and there are three sets per room. So in case you need to do use more than one set, you can tape the piece of paper to the front of their shirt or they can just hold it. You're going to do it lengthwise. And then you're going to tell the kid to figure out how to line up like a game of dominoes. So you're going to put the dominoes on them, you know, like if, if this was their body, you would put it on this way so that they can line up and match the person that they need to match. Um, so I kind of have them matched up here. You could have them lay on the ground like dominoes and match up. Um, or they could just stand side by side and see who they match up to. So they're kind of looking for their partner. Um, and then once they're all in position, you can take a picture if you wanted. If you have more kids, ask some kids to volunteer to sit out. Or we've got extra sets if you want to have two games going at once. And then to close it down, just say we often have solutions or gifts that match up with other people's needs. So how do we find out what we have and what others need in real life? Sometimes we can just ask people what they need, but sometimes people help us to see the needs around us. So maybe your mom asks you to help your younger sibling reach something because you're taller. Or your school counselor asks you and your friends to help a new student because your group is really friendly. So whether you see a need around you and gather resources or someone asks you to help, you're showing how to work together to help someone in need. So today we're going to go to large group and hear a story about how we can work together to help someone in need. Here's some extra questions if you have time after large group that you could ask your kids also. So then at 10 after, you are going to go to large group. When you get back from large group, you have this little application activity called Friends Help. It's this little pull through page. So you can have kids color it, and then you will show them how to kind of put it through the slits. I don't even fully understand how to put it through the slits, but you're going to have them retell the story by doing this. So. Jesus was teaching in a house, and there were four friends that had a friend who was paralyzed. They brought him to the house, but the house was so crowded that they had to lower their friend down through the roof. And Jesus was so amazed by their faith and their cooperation that he healed their friend and forgave him of his sins. And the man jumped with joy and carried his mat home. So the kids can color and then practice retelling the story. I also have the story marked in your action Bible. You can maybe reread the story as the kids retell it with their little paper. But I think it gives a great visual of showing what the houses looked like, how they dug a hole in the top of it, 
how he came down to Jesus and then how he was so happy that he carried his mat because he was healed. So you can read, read through the story in the Action Bible as well. Then for the memory verse activity, you're going to do this memory verse jam. So what you're going to do is you've got all these papers right here. You can put kids into pairs if you like or groups of like three or four. And you're going to pass these out. So some groups will practice the verse while doing the twist. Some will, um, what does that say? Do it while doing a creative rhythm. Some will practice, say their verse while playing a beat of a drum with a part of their body. Some will say the verse while pretending to play the drums. So first, practice the memory verse with motions. Look it up in your Bibles together. And then pass those cards out to pairs or little groups. There's three sets per group, so you've got plenty for your kids. And then have them perform for each other and act out their verse doing it that way. And then just talking about how life is better when we have someone to help us. A lot of times doing something on our own is really hard, but when we have someone to partner with us and help us, it makes things a lot easier. And share a time when you saw someone who needed help and you helped them. And then, oh, that was that. Sorry. Then for prayer, um, just gather kids up, kind of look back over the little dominoes and talk about some real life ways that we can meet people's needs. We are not going to carry each other across the room on our blankets, but you can talk about how they could work together to help someone in need in their own lives during this week and then close down in prayer about that. So that is it for this week, guys. Don't forget to check out the birthday board and see if you have any kiddos in the room with a birthday in March and celebrate them. Thank you guys so much for serving. I mean, seriously, we could not do Oak Bridge Kids if it weren't for you guys being the most amazing small group leaders in the world. So Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for serving. I am so grateful for each and every one of you, and I'll see you on Sunday.